Hi guys, this is Sam from BorderWork.com, and today we're taking a look at the U, or I'm sorry, the HU8550 series of TVs from Samsung. Now, they come in a variety of sizes, beginning with 50 inches, 55, 65, 75, and 85 inches. Now, these TVs are 4K TVs, giving you resolutions of 3120 by, I believe, 2160. Make sure. Um, yes, that is oh, 3840 by 2160. Um, I stand corrected. Now, these TVs are, um, you know, basically not the highest end of TVs. They're not the curved TVs from Samsung, but these are pretty amazing TVs with great clarity, as you can see um, on the screen right now. So, I've just taken this right out the box. I've put it on the table, and I just hooked it up. No calibrations whatsoever done. This is basically what you would expect right outside the box. What do you get in the box, however? You have your TV accessory kit. Now, the TV accessory kit that comes in this box mostly consists of about four 3D glasses. You have a mic in there for your calibration of um, your 5.1 surround sound. You have your power cord in there, and your uh, multiple remotes. Yes, it does come with two remotes. One is a smart remote right here. And as you can see, as I move the smart remote around, there's a cursor on the screen, so I can basically use this as a point and click device. The next is just your standard remote control, you know, the long remote control we're um, used to seeing from Samsung. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, a few key features that have changed in this device, I prefer the, uh, sm the smart remote here, is the smart hub. Uh, if you're familiar with the Samsung um, Smart TVs, the Smart Hub is where you would normally go to, uh, you know, access a lot of your apps. So we're in the Smart Hub right now, and it's broken down into separate several sections, right? Over here, we have mostly what is our multi multimedia. So you have your BBC Radio, Talk Sports, um, so mostly apps and um, or video apps, music videos, and things of that sort. Now, if I go over, one over. Um, you have your movies and TV shows. So these are mostly your video, TV, movie shows that you're um, familiar with. From next over, I can either click the left here, which, which gives you an indication of what's coming up next, or I can go up and click on that icon itself. So, oh, no, I needed that one. There we go. Jumps right over to the Samsung app, where we have Netflix, MGO, Pandora, Amazon Instant Video, and other apps that we're all familiar with, as well as uh, YouTube. And I can also jump over to games. So it's, breaking the, it's broken the Smart Hub up to four different sections. Game, um, game, apps, TV and movies, and multimedia. So I'm sure this is where everything else would go. Now, from the multimedia section, you can also, you know, access your home network, um, uh, connect to a particular PC, or connect to your cloud drive. Um, I have a, um, a UHD video pack, which uh, Sam Samsung was graceful enough to give to us, so we could test out some 4K content on here. So we're going to jump straight into that. Now, I should let you know that there is an effective range on here. You don't want to get too close when using the smart remote because once you get too close, this is what happens. You really can't access one side of the screen over the other. So as you can see, I'm moving, nothing's happening. So we'll bring that back over here and um, I'm going to be behind the camera for this part. So let's do this. I'm going to click on the UHD video pack over here. And I'm going to select the Samsung UHD Ultra High Definition 4K. That's downloaded. Go over there. No video files. All right. Return. All right. So there is, I was looking at a video earlier, and it was actually pretty nice. I think it was Vancouver. It was a... It was a video about Vancouver, and it was really great because it showed, you know, some amazing night scenes. It gives you a really nice um, idea of um, exactly what you can expect when it comes to low lights, or should I say the deep blacks that come with this TV. So, so I'm going to go in here, filter. 
and UHD contents. Ooh, Vancouver City. Here we go. And that's it. So it starts out with a night scene, and you see some pretty deep blacks on there. Ah, uh, so that's the start from the start, so you can see the night scene I'm talking about, like the sunset and everything. Really rich colors here. I don't know if that translates over on the video, but you can see that the color is really, really amazing. It's um, you get some pretty deep, black, deep blacks, vibrant colors. It's um, quite amazing how the 4K TVs really, you know, brings a lot more vibrance. Um, you know, it, it, it makes the content a lot more vibrant. I know a lot of people are saying, "Do you need a 4K TV or not?" The truth is. When you see a 4K TV, you're amazed at how clear and crisp the picture is. And I'm pretty amazed over here. This is the, four, the first 4K TV I've had in the apartment. I'm really looking forward to using this uh, on viewing a lot more things. Um, this is being built at a UHD TV, so Ultra HD. So it's still 4K, but Samsung is calling it um, UHD. So to give you a few ideas of exactly what you get on this TV, the audio that you're hearing right now is basically a double digital plus and with a DTS premium sound, 5.1 decoding and DTS studio sound on there. Um, the smart connectivity gives you basically screen mirroring, smart view 2.0 and um, S recommendations as well. Now the uh, UHD 4K standard future proof, so you can basically swap out, um, you, you know, some of the. Um, pro you can basically add processing power to this um, to this series of TVs. Now the smart TV has a quad core processor, smart HD, full web browser, and an instant on. So once you turn this on, the time from pushing button to actually getting the picture on the screen is very minimal. Now, we're gonna go ahead and stop this video. And how do I do that? By clicking and hitting pause. So as you can see, the picture quality on here is pretty amazing. And the responsiveness is actually very, very uh, impressive, especially given the fact that if you've used any of the Samsung TVs before, some of the earlier series, you will notice that, you know, jumping, the way I jump to the, to the Smart Hub right now, it's very fluid, and that's because of that quad-core processor in there. I don't know what the, um, the speed on that processor is or how much RAM you have in here, but you have enough speed, or you, you have enough of a processing power to actually, you know, have a very fluid experience in here. Now, let's jump to the apps and see what we can find on the apps here. Let's see if we can access our YouTube app. And let's see if we can grab a 4K uh, video from YouTube. Ah, there we go. Boxing setup. All right, I'm gonna hit play. And boom, there. Connectivity, pretty straightforward. It plays right away, Hello, no stuttering. Um, playing in uh, 4K. <laughs> And this is um, board at work, you all know it's on the E. So this is, you know, 4K content from YouTube on here. Um, we could try to do something with Netflix, but the fear is that the guys at uh, YouTube will probably kick that out because Netflix, I'm sure we have a bunch, of, I'm sure it would be a bunch of uh, content that we couldn't use on there. So let's do something else. I want to show you guys the menu, just to show you that um, the menu has basically stayed the same. Uh, so if you had a Samsung TV prior, you should be very familiar with the setup here. You have your picture, sound, broadcast, and we don't have anything connected, to, um, any broadcast connection yet. We have your network, so this is where you set up your uh, Wi-Fi. We have Smart Hub, so this is some Smart Hub settings over here. General settings for your system, so basically system settings, accessibility, smart control settings, universal remote um, setup, and support over here. 
Now, this basically is very familiar. If, if, this, if you've had a Samsung TV, as I mentioned, this would be very familiar to you. The menus haven't changed. Now, source-wise, I'm going to show you what the, the options for sources are over here. So, I hit source right over here because I'm connected to my home network. We have screen mirroring, so you can connect to your device, uh, mirror your device to your screen. See so if you have a, a compatible um, Miracast TV, uh, Miracast phone, I should say. USB UHD video pack, which uh, is connected to the device right now. This is on my home network, so it's already detected my Plex server. Um, now this is network, so this is my network. So my network, I have multiple computers on the network, so it's already connected to my network. So now this is the HDMI that it on board, so it has one, two, three, four. That's four HDMI and I believe two AV inputs, one component, and an RVU connection. All right, so we're going to flip to the back of the case here and show you exactly where the power connection is, and uh, we'll go with that right there. Clearly see there's a little bit of an impression here, and over here, in case you can't read it, it says power. Now, up over there is where you plug the power cord into and um, plug that to the wall. So we'll shift over back to the right. Three USB connections, TV1 connection, HDMI, I'm sorry, this is your uh, optical out for audio, HDMI 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is your IR out and your audio out as well. And um, this is your AV or antenna in connection. So this is your antenna in connection. And this is your AV uh, connection, your AV in 2 connection over here. So um, all in all, and this is your component, Need a, uh, so I don't forget, this is your component. And the way the component connection where the component HD works is simply, you have your component HD, but your co component HD also has your AV1 connection over here. So one, two, three would suffice, or should I say one, two, and three. So you see the top one here that's basically half green and half uh, yellow. That would be your audio. And these would be your, your two, I'm sorry, this would be your video, and these would be your two audios here. So your components has an AV1 connection already um, integrated in there, and your AV2 is just a standard three with your video, left and right audio. Um, all in all, the connections give you, you have enough connections here to plug in anything. Four HDMI connections are way more than enough to connect, to connect any of your components directly to your TV, especially if you don't have any, um, something like an AV receiver um, to use with your TV as well. Um, all in all, um, I, I think this gives you enough options to do uh, anything you would like to do um, with this TV. Once again, this is SanfordBoardWork.com, and um, this is the Samsung HU8550 series of TVs. And as always, enjoy your entertainment.